Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is I, the Kingu of anime, Rogers Base, bringing you this what very special post-direct edition of the Japan Time Podcast. Who is with me in this call right now? Make yourselves known. No, 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 I'm no, no. not who, doing introductions. Who count, you who ain't who no king. You, yeah, who crowned you king of anime? What? You did. You looked over my bars during the Pokemon Cypher. I was the anime king, you and you were what? like, that's respectable. You're right. I know. I know. He got it. This your king? <laughs> Is this God. your king? So, all right. So, we got we got Duncan Knee Deep. We got McDareth. We got Mike. We got Endakuba. We got Shofu. We got Tito. We got Viram. We have a lot to discuss. This morning, there was a very special Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Direct where tons of information got revealed. Lots of new characters, stages, modes. It was absolutely crazy. This is going to be a free-form discussion. We're not going to do what we did on the Monday episode where we just go person by person and go, well, what did you think of the Direct? We're just going to start it off with the very first thing in the Direct, that amazing trailer for Simon Belmont and Richter Belmont from Castlevania as playable characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Let's hear your thoughts. Man, right, first, Luigi, first of all, man. first of all, let's, right. yeah. yeah pay let's take a moment of silence. F in the chat for Luigi, man. I'm gonna silence, hey, please. Respect. His soul straight up <laughs> left his body. Nintendo have killed both Mario and Luigi now. They killed Mega Man. <laughs> got his soul snatched. They killed Mega Man. They killed out of his booty pipe, man. I do feel like that's a theme with these trailers. Like whenever we get the next newcomer trailer, who's gonna die in that trailer? Yeah, I. Uh, Hopefully, it's a character these we don't care about. about. I love the references to Luigi's things. Mansion in the trailer, though, where he's like trying to stun yeah. the zombies and then fire a suction cup at them. It does nothing. Right. <laughs> uh, no, everything about that trailer, I thought I was think, just so good. I think good. we need to talk about the leak that happened before that. Though. Okay, so let's talk about <laughs> it. Let's talk about it. Show up go into it. Because I was man. actually sleeping when it happened, and then so I saw they, it this morning. They put up the Galaga medley on the website. But you click on the Galaga medley to go to the YouTube video, and it says Bloody Tears, which is a song from Castlevania, which had no representation in Smash Bros. prior to today. So they definitely leaked their own shit. I don't know how. I don't yeah, know everybody who. Everybody was, everybody but was, it was like, it's And then they changed it back to Galaga medley a couple, like, 10, 10 15 minutes later. Yeah, I so think it was I just so before. obvious. That was definitely yesterday. Somehow it got changed. Someone, like, changed the wrong file. Yeah. There's just no yeah, way. Those no videos way. were already uploaded to the Smash Brothers website, though, right? So, like, you could already yeah. click the open a new tab and see that video. So, there's yeah, no, no reason no. that that old video would be renamed. Some intern got yeah. fired. I'm sure of that. Or they <laughs> did it on purpose because <laughs> that, they yeah, knew they had King K. Rool in the back. Yeah, the theory, mm. was, the theory we came up with during the direct was that they did it on purpose, so everyone would be like, "Oh, those are the characters being revealed, right?" Or that's the character being revealed. And then the end of the trailer, when they bring you King K. Rool, it blows everyone's mind even. And harder. they had four more characters what? aside from Simon, anyways. Yeah, like even yeah. Like, even on top of that, they had Richter right afterwards. They're like, "Yeah, you weren't expecting Plus, Richter right yeah. after Simon." That's true. Plus, the leak increased the hype because everyone was like, "Oh my God, they're going to announce Simon!" So now more people watched it. Yeah, but so, uh, imagine, true. imagine that, oh, like, the start of the trailer is that video, and you don't know, right? The second you see a castle, you know who it is. But, like, imagine if you just didn't know. Yeah, that, and it's that's true, the they, part that I'm kind of sad about. They started the, tra the entire direct with that trailer. And so, yeah, everything else after that was a surprise. And considering how much it's been said in leaks all posted on 4chan over the course of months ago that Simon Belmont was going to be in the game, that it is a character that I think a lot of us expected. I think most of us expected that we were going to see Simon Belmont in some form. Um, so then to sort of throw that wrench in there and be like, oh, we also have an Echo Fighter, we have Richter, and then all these other characters that were shown off with all those other modes. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe it was a purposeful leak. I still don't necessarily believe that just because Sakurai has always been so anti-leak yeah. that I don't think you would have been okay with that. It's, but also, it's also the kind of like new wave 
media advertising move that Nintendo aren't really known for. Their advertising is kind of bad, and so mm. they're not very good at advertising their stuff. That's kind of a that's a that's a more advanced advertising play than I think maybe Nintendo are capable of. Honestly. Credit credit where credit is due, though. I do think in the Switch era, Nintendo marketing has been pretty good. Oh, it's it's way better. It is way better. Way Wii better. U era was trash. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I do gotta say, though, it's like, even if this was, like, a big mistake, like, again, like, it still worked, you know? Like, people lost their minds. Like, my man Simon yeah. looking kind of clean, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. And it's classic Barbarian Simon, not the Castlevania Judgment Simon that I think a lot of people I'm expected. So God happy bless. About that. Yeah. God bless. That's my childhood right there. Just everything about this character, him utilizing the special moves from the game, the axe, the holy water, even the Dracula stage that you hit the candlesticks and then items pop out. It is just so unbelievably perfect. All the different boss enemies from Castlevania I, who show up on 34 the stage. songs on one stage. 34 right. songs, dude! Like, what? They, they, they even managed to I get his awkward looking. They managed to get his awkward looking NES idol looking good in 3D, and they got the, the strut yeah. as well. Yeah. When he when he hit the ground with the whip and the roast chicken came out, I was so excited because like for anybody who hasn't played Castlevania, which I hope is not many people, um, there are hidden roast chickens that fully heal you in Castlevania behind walls that mm -hmm. look the same as any other wall. But if you walk up and whip them, a roast chicken pops out. So I was really hoping that that was a feature on every stage that just there were spots that Simon could hit to give himself chicken. <laughs> but uh, it actually seems to be a feature of the stage, not so much the character, which is a shame. But, you know, it's still awesome. It was such a great reference. Oh, I'm yeah. very happy. And that trailer, I would argue that one trailer was probably one of the best newcomer... Both that one and the King K. Rool one. It I think were two so of the best nice, newcomer dude. trailers we ever had. Like, with Wii U and, you know, with this game. I think both of those trailers just completely knocked it out of the park. I agree. Yeah. 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 It, with another thing about that Castlevania trailer, too, that I, I want to bring up is I love the way that they introduced Richter. Because you see Dracula, and you feel like another character is going to come in, but you don't necessarily believe it's going to be a Belmont. And then you see Alucard as one yeah. of the assist trophies later on. And then it ends up being Richter, who is personally from my favorite game in the Castlevania series, and not a character I at all expected to be an Echo Fighter. I thought, if anything, maybe some of the other Belmonts would be costumes, similar to how Elf is a costume for Olimar. But man, yeah, making yeah. him his own character is, I think, awesome. And I do think it sets a new standard, too, for uh, who can get an Echo Fighter. Because a lot of us were debating whether or not newer characters could get Echo Fighters. Um, the one big character I'm thinking of is the Inklings with the Octolings. And now it seems like anything is possible. Well, yeah. also, I was going to say, too. Like... Like... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go... No, you go ahead, man. Oh, I was going to say, um, tying that with, um, I, I kind of jumped from characters, but like with Chrome, for example, because initially when it came to Echo Fighters, it was just like, you know, it's the same character as this, but, you know, with, you know, minor differences, you know, kind of like Martin Lucina, but then we get Chrome, whereas he's pretty much Roy, but he has like Aether as an up B, so it's like, hold on, wait, what? Like, you know, Roy doesn't have that move, so right. honestly, like, I'm anything's out there at this point. Yeah, and the Echo Fighters, like, Previously, I always thought that they would have quite similar hitboxes and things like that, but I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but Richter, his up B has a sword, so it's not just a fist uppercut. It's actually, he pulls a sword out and does an uppercut with a sword, with Richter's one. Someone was posting a screenshot out of that. And that's quite a significant difference, a difference sorry, if it's got a big distance, if it's got a big hitbox, a sword hitbox in an Absolutely. up B. Absolutely. That's quite significant over a fist uppercut, so... The differences on Echo Fighters are bigger than I expected. I'll put it that way. I was really expecting it to be Marth Lucina's style of just being identical. Mm -hmm. And I, I am really impressed, too, with the differences in animation. I think the way even, like, the characters yeah, look. Dude. Like, Dark Samus looks yeah, like she's exactly. made of Phazon. All the different... Yeah, like, that's what I want, so man. Nice. Oh, Dark Samus is going to be so cool. And then Krom, too. It was weird, because when we first saw Krom, I thought, oh, please do not be another Marth Echo. But the fact that they built it upon the new Roy, who I feel is not even a clone at all anymore, and they added that new move that kind of looks like the Aether move from Ike on top of it, and yeah, to throw Krom in there... He's got, he's got Ike's up B, but with... Yeah, 
uh, Roy's moveset. Roy's, yeah. It's just so, it's so interesting, because that is one of those characters that, of course, people wanted and asked for, and every time we would do, like, character polls or ask people what characters do they want, a lot of people would say Krom, but we'd think, okay, we already have all these Fire Emblem characters in, there's no way they're going to add Krom, but uh, sure enough, Sakurai managed to do it in a way that really excited people and, and got you hyped for another Fire Emblem character. Like, I think that, like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I was surprised that was it. I, I just... I really like the idea that Sakurai just straight up was like, man, yeah, Echo Fighters aren't really that hard to make. So, like... <laughs> like, which is... I, I, I don't think that people really necessarily wanted, like, a brand new character in a lot of ways. I think they just wanted, like, Krom. If Krom played, like, Marth, I think people would be fine. They just want Krom. So I think it's, like, a good medium where it's, like, you get a little bit of, of a brand new stuff, but it's also, like... Sakurai and the team doesn't have to completely make a character from the ground up and they can focus on yeah. a new character. And speaking of Sakurai, I do want to say this for a moment. That man is a liar. I would love the name of this episode well, to be Sakurai a is a liar. This man said, don't expect too many new characters. <laughs> well, when he we said have eight that, newcomers and growing, man. It's when he like, said that, my thought process was like, okay, so how many characters does he normally add in each game? Right, if it's right. like, don't expect too many if it compared to my past games. Not like, I'm just not going to add any. Which, I, a lot of us said that, because in Melee, I think they added, what, like 11 or 15 or something? And so even if it was less than that, that would still be 10 characters. And I think all of us agree, because Sakurai even said it during the Direct, that they're going to reveal more before the release. So we're not getting any post-release yeah. things. They're just going to show off everything. All the character designs, stages, everything. We're going to see it pre-release. Which means we're going to get more character reveals before the game comes out. And considering how big the roster is already and all the characters we've been given, it's just crazy to think of like what other characters could still be added. Because this really does feel I'm, like a fat favorite game. I'm, I'm telling y'all, Shadow's game, man. DLC. That's yeah, Shadow, Shadow at this point, yeah, and DLC, we will get DLC. Wait, 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 you're telling me people finish games before putting them out in 2018? No. Okay. It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. So I wanted to look this up since we brought it up. Uh, not including, okay, so Melee had 14 new ones, Brawl had 18, Wii U had 21. Wii U 3DS had 21, including DLC. So if he adds like 10, yeah. that, that'll still go in line with what he said then. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally, totally. You, and even uh, considering all the stuff that was shown off in this direct, and you look at the assist trophies that were posted to the website already, I mean, there are some um, that would make a lot of sense, right? We've got Isabel and we've got Shadow mysteriously missing still from the assist trophy roster. And we talked about Dark Samus being removed, and now, sure enough, Dark Samus is a character. And then we know there's got to be a Pokemon, too. We still are yeah, waiting out of Pokemon. Not, that's fine. So that's three yeah. at least. That's three well, at least. Plus, we have Rathalos as a boss. Out. Yeah, like, is Duncan gonna hold the ultimate L, and are we gonna get Monster Hunter as a playable? I, I hope. I hope. Yeah, that's that's an L. I'd be shocked. He's willing to take man. I'd be shocked if after, after putting in a Monster Hunter boss, Monster Stage, stage. That wouldn't have a playable. And a stage, yeah. yeah. I mean, are y'all sure that that's gonna be like a full fledged, just like regular stage? Because I mean, when you think about it, we saw like all the. I mean, first of all, 103 stages, bro. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, but, even, even if it's right. not a regular stage, it's still there. It exists. It's, still there, it's yeah. a boss stage, yeah. yeah that's and, all and it say. is weird the way they introduced it, because they mentioned that Rathalos is both a boss and an assist trophy. So I do have a feeling that the boss encounter with Rathal Rathalos sorry, probably has to do with the single player. That that's we all did say, yeah. Yeah. Which apparently it's is called Spirits or something. Thing. What's it called? Somebody like decoded what it said? Did you guys see this on Twitter? I don't know. Yeah, no, no, Spirits. No, spirits? Okay. It. Uh, how did I, they do I, that? They unscrambled it? Somebody, I, yeah, somebody on Twitter managed to unscramble it, and they said that block no, by block crazy. it says spirits, so... I, I might have missed yeah. it, but, uh, did, were there any, like, clear differences in gameplay between Dark Samus and Samus? I didn't, I didn't see anything... Mostly animations. Bro. Most of our animations are very Kong similar. clearly has like, a move that's, that's different, different. different. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. It's like, that's literally Ike's up B, but, like, everything else is Roy. Okay. So I just I didn't see anything from Dark Samus or that would like I was like oh that's different I didn't see anything so I might have missed it. Maybe it was just a visual thing, but I noticed the missiles right away, the phase on missiles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go back and watch it. I don't know if they have maybe like a different hitbox or, or they act differently from Samus's missiles. I'm assuming they probably do, considering how much Krom has changed. But, uh, uh, but who knows? Apparently, um, Dark Samus doesn't go into a morph ball to roll either. Yeah. She yeah, does. her rolls on. Oh rolls. right, right, right. I forgot she, she's like floating. Right. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe that role won't be us. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it'll have the same frame data as Samus's, though. It says uh, yeah, Dark Samus's awesome. missiles take longer to speed up but go faster. Uh, uh, Samus's missiles are like that as well. as well, yeah. They yeah. don't fly right away. They just kind of sit there for a second. If you look in Dark Samus's uh, character video, the uh, site, uh, you see both Samus and Dark Samus shooting their missiles at the same time, and they look basically... Yeah. 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 I think... <sighs> I was so wrong about Rathalos being added. I thought after the fallout between, like, the sort of semi fallout between Capcom and Nintendo, I really thought that we wouldn't see any Monster Hunter stuff in Smash Bros. So I was very, very shocked when Rathalos hit the stage. I was even more shocked when Ancestral Step was a level. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to doubt anything. I think it's quite likely that we'll get a Monster Hunter character. So I mean, if you look at Hunter coming. We've if you got... look at the meat costumes from the Wii yeah, U, I was gonna say, all of them are the characters. You've got Krom, you've got King K. Rule. I mean, they're going through the list of meat costumes, aside from the ones that are obviously deconfirmed as assist trophies still, like Ashley. Um, I'm sure somebody was out there crying when we saw Ashley today. What about, but, what um, about, what about Shovel Knight? Yeah, oh, Shovel Knight. Styles. Styles was so upset. I was so upset. <laughs> that shit was so just, funny, bro. Why are you laughing at that? Let that? Why are you laughing at that? The way he got up and walked away. Oh, like, yeah, that was, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> after zero, that was Yeah, after zero, too. Yeah, zero. <laughs> I mean, oh, well. to be fair, I think it's still quite amazing that Shovel Knight is in the game at all. Because you That's think about great. it, and, like, Shovel Knight is from this... Western indie developer, so the fact that this big Japanese developer for this massive uh, crossover series has decided to put him in is uh, quite a statement to what this small indie character has been able to achieve. For sure. I mean, I, I think it's a huge testament to the great work that Yacht Club's been doing. And they've been, of course, really supportive of Nintendo systems and vice versa. Nintendo's been supportive of them on their platforms. So I, I think it makes sense. Um, but at the same time, I think if Shovel Knight's an assist trophy, I think this also sort of knocks out the Shantae people. Um, there are a lot of people who are like, oh, Shantae and Shovel Knight would be great. I think Shovel Knight was probably like the indie darling, if any. Yeah. And him being relegated yeah. to assist trophy, I think, probably means that's, that's what we're going to get. It's still we crazy though, like Shovel Knight. I guess actually no. Belmont probably fills the retro character void, yeah, right? Yeah, well, yeah not, probably. Yeah. Retro, I though. guess you could say that. Because I because when uh, I always think retro, I always think Nintendo retro, but yeah. Also have something we seen why it's popped too. up with the hundred and three stages. There's six spots left on the kit, like the stage select screen. Do you think they're gonna add and fill that? Because right now there's just like empty spaces, which seems kinda odd. I hope yeah. so. I mean, where did they just left it empty? But I'm sure they'll figure something out. Well, I can... still feel like if we get another Pokemon character, we're probably going to get a new Pokemon stage. That's well, one of them. Didn't we get a new Pokemon stage already? Am I imagining did... that? Mm, I don't uh, think so. Uh, no. I don't, I don't think no. so. No. And not, not to mention any uh any third party like any fresh third party character is definitely getting their own stage. Exactly. So yeah. Monster Hunter is another one that if Monster Hunter gets in, then they're going to have yeah, their own stage. That will be one of those six. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, if they do bring Monster Hunter in, do you think it'll be uh, the canon Monster Hunter? I think it's, it might no, be a bit I, risque for. No, I think uh, it's going to be. It's going to be. Alzheimer. Yeah, I think it's going to be agree. the one from uh, Mar Marvel. It's going to be the Marvel one. Yeah, the Rathalos. The Marvel Alzheimer. one is Kirin Armor. The basic Marvel one is Kat Rathalos. No, wait, that, wait, wait, wait. No, no, basic no, no, that's no, the basic Rathalos. Rathalos. Rathalos, and then the, the Kirin, the backup armor. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So canon hunters in Rathalos armor now. Yeah, and that's, I, that's even the meat costume they put in. They put in Rathalos and they put in Iron, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, I'm looking at this uh, assist trophy roster and I'm looking at the stages again. One character who I've seen on, like, a lot of fake leak lists, and that obviously means nothing considering they're fake. Um, but one character that is a classic Nintendo character that isn't on here that would fill the retro void is an Excite Bike character. Like, a little Excite Biker on the back of their motor. Uh, you know their motorbike. That's, I could maybe see that, and then like uh, an excite bike stage. See it. How uh, would that be? Like seven, I think. Or those one. I know it's like I talked about wanting that character. I don't know if it was Forbidden Seven. A while ago, really. yeah, yeah. Like during the melee era, didn't he say he considered excite biker and uh, balloon fighter? I mean, to be fair, I mean in brawl, excite bike was an assist trophy, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and it's it not listed happen. here anymore. It could happen. There you go. 
And Duncan, I know, we didn't bring this up, I guess, while we're on the topic of assist trophies, but I just want to say, I know you were screaming in your house. I was screaming right there with you. When we see the moon as an assist trophy, oh, that just yeah, apocalypse so the excited. entire world. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out to the Shovel Knight once again for surviving. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is going to question I'm going to ask with my heart in my throat. Is um, is Skull Kid confirmed as an assist trophy again yet? We have uh, not I gotta look. Let me look. We haven't seen him yet. We have not. I'm looking on here. We have not yet seen Skull Kid. No. I, I, I sit here in eternal hope. Ooh, man. I, I sit here in Bro, eternal you... hope. I've been asking for Skull Kid since Brawl. When they show the assist trophies, it's the scariest thing ever, man. <laughs> You're no, like, who's going to get deconfirmed? You don't know who. It's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did like that uh, Chef Kawasaki uses Kirby's old Final Smash. I thought that was kind of cute. Yeah. Gray Fox coming back from Brawl was awesome. Alucard, of course, as we discussed already. Uh, the Arcade Bunny and Nikki from Swap Note, like drawing bullet bills and stuff to destroy things in the background, I thought was kind of cute. Thank yeah, you. I just, I'm really digging the Assist Trophy lineup this time. And I love the simple fact that you can actually have more than one at a time. Yeah, for sure. Well, so I am still kind of confused about something. What is up with the multiple Final Smash thing? Is that like a mode? Is that like a meter mode? Or oh, like, what's going on with that? They said that they give you a meter. a meter. You can't you, you can't use two at the same time though. But it's just a meter. Like you build it up, you use your Final Smash that way. Yeah, it's an option you can yes. turn on. It's weaker when you use it that way though. It weakens yep. the Final Smashes apparently. Mm. Although we still <laughs> saw. Who said that? The mask. No, he has it's, it's in the direct. Oh, exactly. Direct. It's in a direct. weaker version. I didn't. No, I, I don't. I didn't remember seeing that. That's why. I was... So, right. but we still saw Marth's critical strike hit someone at twenty percent and kill them. So it's like, how much weaker is it actually? <laughs> like... well, Mario normally carries you across the stage and kills you. So does Sam. Player didn't kill, but yeah, Marth still did. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the single target, like really hard to hit ones, still kill, or the high risk ones. But, yeah. I'm wondering though how like the cutscene ones would work then. Because like Ridley or King K. Rule or something, they, they basically just go into cutscenes. Well, they probably yeah, just they, do less damage the... and knockback at the end. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe. I don't know. I think it would be really interesting to see if maybe meter on is a side, a side event, event. competitive yeah, kind I of thing. Yeah. I think we should test it for real anyways. No, no, don't worry, Evo's gonna you know Mr. Wizard's gonna do it. Isn't the man that forced Brawl to have items? And then forced us into customs. He's most certainly gonna run. If it's at Evo, he's gonna have that on. Yeah. Wait, you think he's gonna have Smash yes. Meters on at Evo? Yes. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no, we didn't use customs at all. It's like, I think customs are unused by the community. So I turned it on and we just have to do it. Brawl is like, I, let's try items. You guys how, about we, how about we just don't go to Evo? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not super against them. I just think that they unbalance certain characters. Like, they'd need to be way weaker on certain characters because mm. some characters final smash. Yeah. Or, or you just make it so that the meter, the meter actual, actually grows really slow. Like, if it grows slow enough, it actually doesn't matter. You just add, you just add a stock. All right. Every other game has supers. Like, I mean, that's true. Yeah, but the other games have yeah. supers that have another way to use them. Like, it's a super, but you can use them to power up basics. Or I don't. Yeah, I. I also don't think supers and final smashes. Uh, just because they share a meter, I don't really think that they're all that comparable. Because, like, when you yeah, use a meter in a fighting game... Yeah, like, supers in fighting games, often you'll be using them, like, to end combos and stuff. And at that yeah. point, they scale down and they become weaker. But if you do a raw super, it's very punishable. There's a lot of counterplay around it, but it's more rewarding. But a final smash, like, a lot of you these final the smashes... The combo, they're yeah. unblockable, some kill instantly. Yeah, some are, some are just like, there's obnoxious. little counterplay like to some... Yeah. <laughs> and the, and like the, the... Some final smashes like Lynx aren't very good at all, or like... Then we got, are we got, ridiculous. And we got, yeah, like, like Sonic's is I dumb. Don't, like, I don't know. Yeah. Link, when you can build meter, so, like, Lynx... I think ones that you don't need to, like, hit... Like, stand next to someone and hit them are gonna be better. Because, like, Link's gonna be better if you use meter. Because think about it, because you can hit them with Link, knock them away, jump and use your final smash and hit them at a distance. That's uh, true. Zero was saying that... that uh, cool. Zero was saying that would promote campy gameplay, though. But, you know, who, who actually knows that? But that's what he was saying. Because obviously, well, if you have your final smash, you just run away. Or... The last yeah, but... thing I noticed about the uh, smash thing is that much like other meters in the game, it builds more if you take damage than deal it. That makes sense. You think? Yeah. Actually, no. Yeah, because yeah, uh, in, so in the clip like where it shows ultra, off... It's, it's more like a Street Fighter 4 Ultra than a 
Street Fighter Super. Because yeah, I guess. Rather than you, you, you get it from both, but it's more from take yeah, hits. Well, that, yeah, the ultra you could get from both, but you'd get way more from being hit than from hitting. So the person losing gets their super first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's mm. terrible. In this game, you already got rage. Now you got a super too? For losing? Take well, rage I mean... out. <laughs> you know what? If turning meter on turned rage off, I would I would say meter on over rage. Actually, that, 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 that brings up the point, because... Um, there's a setting that's yeah, shown that. called yeah. yep called it's something like custom something. Uh, uh, I don't I'll, quite I'll, remember I'll what it's called. I'll, I'll pull up zero. Got, zero tweeted it. Like, yeah, and uh, basically that uh, that setting has an icon that's uh, identical to the rage icon. Ooh. So people are speculating that that might be able to toggle rage. That would be amazing. I mean. Toggling yeah. rage and turning meter on would actually be really cool. I, I would love like, for the I community like to experiment with that. I don't like that at all. I think they Why should not? themselves either include it or not include it because, like, how do we how do we even determine how we should be playing? Them? What the yeah? Well, just what, what, what is mean, what is the intended purpose of rage? Yeah. With each other, yeah. I just that, that's what, I feel like that should come down to game design game. in general, not not something we should be able to toggle. I'm really worried. This game has so many cool options. I'm worried that there's going to be a back room of people who potentially don't really play, like, play the game in tournaments. They're just like, oh, well, you can't use this, this. Like, you're just going to limit the hell out of it when there's so many yeah. possible things you mm -hmm. could try and there's never going to bother. I mean, generally, the community comes together and agrees, right? Like, yeah, the, no, but the, like, the the, okay, the together. truth about it is it's not really the community, right? There is a group of it's people who say, let's yeah. do this, and then everyone else just does it because, like, they're, they're the community the can't be trusted anyways. That's like also when, true. Like when Duck Hunt got removed, that was not, not a community push. Thing, that was that was that it's backroom. Called... Like, hey, we're an evil on main stage. Duck Hunt's kind of campy. We're just gonna get rid of it. It's called custom custom balance. What it's called? Yeah, that was it. Hmm. Uh, I will put a link in the chat for custom balance. Things. Okay. It is a. Uh, it is under launch rate. Uh, it's just an on and off. You can actually turn off. Yeah, it's the same thing as everything else. Because now, because now, what you do is that you train, you pick the rules, then you pick the stage, then you pick the character, and that's, and that's on default. I still think the stage thing is pretty cool that you choose stages first. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so sure, I'm sure they, go, I'm sure they paid attention to tournaments and saw that that's how people do it, uh, at yeah. least after the first round. Yeah, because you, and you then, obviously switch your character based on what stage you're playing on. And there's lots of different options that were on that menu for stages as well. It looked like there was a preset button, if I'm not mistaken, too. So I'm wondering if maybe yeah, you, you can, can just preset presets. which stages. Yep. That's amazing. That is amazing. That there's like, maybe if we could just customize our own little stage list, similar to how we can customize whether or not the echoes show up as a separate slot. That'd be so cool. Where then you could just set up a tournament. You don't need to go through the entire menu. It's just the stages that are legal or counter picks, or maybe they get grayed out or something. I just think that's such a cool option. With stages, competitive, how about this? Because, like, competitive, you play rock, paper, scissors to pick who picks the first stage, right? Right. Why not have it so that the first time it, the stages, you pick two stages and it morphs between the two. So each person picks one stage and it morphs between the two and then loser picks from then on. So the first stage that you play is a morphing stage between the two. Stage or is such a cool thing that I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be R two D two looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus Prime, is that you? No. Well, go ahead and try that again, McDer. I was saying that stage more is a cool thing. That I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those things that just gets banned and we'll never see it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it will be banned, but it doesn't look. No, but like it's, it's like the thing broken. is, it's not random, right? You can we saw yeah. that you can set it by a time, so you could set it yeah, like yeah. every three minutes exactly. or something. Exactly. You know like, when. So you know it's, it's coming. Yeah. You know right. when it's going to happen. You know what stage it's going to switch to. You know how the animation's going to work. You know that it puts the rainbow shape of the next stage in, right before. The next one it's like it's not like oh at any moment it could morph into the other stage it is right every it's timed it morphs. you know yeah. when it's gonna happen you can Which do it I random is, as well that, too though i think that yeah, comes down to all the hazards on stages though right it's like if you're playing on a stage that has hazards on it if the hazards are random that is what gets a stage banned you know i'm mean, for the most part i think if you look at like yoshi's story it's kind of random how the cloud comes out but no, overall it's actually it's not. not well then there you go time. all I right can't well, remember the time anymore, there there's a set time the cloud pops up on each side yeah. what's the cloud's name again everybody gives randall. it randall randall, randall. yeah 
Shout out to Randall. <laughs> let's while we're on the topic of stages, let's actually talk about the stages that are returning. So Sakurai has revealed that there are 103 stages in this game. They will all be unlocked from the start. And we got confirmation of a bunch of new retro stages during this direct today. Guys, just go through the ones that you're excited to talk about. Which ones are you super stoked to play on again? Bruh, we play competitively. We only play on Pokemon four or five stages. I need I'm like excited about all of them. <laughs> you Every island bro. I need it. Was it's is that Pokemon Stadium not a legal stage though? No, it's not. Because uh, it not. changes. Wait, what? It's never legal? No, Pokemon Stadium legal 1 is legal in Melee. Pokemon Stadium yeah. 2 is not. Right. Oh. Pokemon Stadium 1 is. Yeah, yeah. but in and Brawl, Pokemon, Pokemon, Stadium, Stadium, but Pokemon Brawl, Stadium 1 was in Brawl as well. And it was legal for a bit, and then it got banned. Well, Brawl yeah. people are stupid. It's coming back, and it's going to be legal. That's my call right now. That's, <laughs> that's just stupid. I mean, if they're still playing it at EVO all these years after, it's, it should stay. No, but even, I mean, in, the honestly, thing is, even in Melee, people are tr were, were vying to get it banned. So The thing Why? with Pokemon Stadium is it? that, like, there's the transformate, like, with the hazardless, with the hazard toggle now, there's no point in playing on trans uh, transforming one. Because, like, that's what people dislike in terms of the competitive mm -hmm. side of that. The main structure for that stage is arguably one of the best in terms of, like, competitive gameplay out of all the stages in the game. But the transformations are what hold it back. And that's why 2 is banned, because more severe. Oh, yeah, transformation two yeah but really, really it bad. 1 transforms still, right? Yeah. And yeah, it, it yeah, yeah. And a couple of those transformations um, lead to kind of very slow or campy or mm. sort of degenerate gameplay. Sometimes they're also kind of glitchy as well. You can mm. clip through the floor on like the rock transformation or something. Fair enough. Look, all I'm saying is we got Fountain of Dreams, man. Like, what really? Dude, oh, that stage looks nice D, Fountain of that Dreams. Gorgeous. Also, yeah. reminder for people who listened on Monday, what did I say? We were gonna get Fountain of Dreams and Brinstar Depths in HD okay, in wait, this whoa, Smash whoa, Direct. Whoa. What we else got did you those say? Two exact stages. Well, a bunch of other stuff that don't need to worry about. But I said those <laughs> two things. <laughs> hey man, I said that we were gonna get the stage and item tab after the direct. Uh, also, I did. To well. be fair, I said that we were gonna get a character from a new franchise and a character who's an Echo Fighter from a returning franchise. We got that. So I was right about that too. Wait, wait, wait. wait from a new franchise. Yeah, Castlevania, that's new. Castlevania is not a new franchise. New, what? New, no, a new, new franchise to, to the series. New to yeah. Smash. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was very confused for a oh, second. Oh, no, of course. No, no. I didn't mean like, 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 like arms. Can we talk about how seven out of nine people said Heiachi was going to be announced? Yeah, Look, okay, so bro. what was up with that? <laughs> Look, man. You goddamn sheep, man. I can't stand y'all. Look, man. That's, man, that's why I'm sitting man. down. <laughs> Every single person said, hey, Archie, hey, Archie, hey, man, like, we're not getting a technical. I didn't, I just went on the record, I did not, I did not. I, I will, I will step into the forefront and be like, you know what? You're right. That's, that's really all it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it would've been clean if he was. We still got some news at EVO, that's all I'm saying. Not yeah. really. But, yeah, news about know. news does not count. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah, so so <laughs> We didn't know. We didn't learn anything new about the hey, game man, at yeah. Evo. That's like that's that, like if I'm like, hey man, the newspaper's the gonna come out tomorrow. Make sure you read it. There's some stuff in there. I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> like, I mean, hey you man, uh, you told me to look out for the newspaper. That's what we no, said. Maybe, no. maybe I wouldn't have watched the newspaper. Announcing an announcement that. is not news. What? Watching a newspaper. So you watch the newspapers now. You probably read the TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know. While you eat hamburger cheese sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> that boy folds the dishes and washes the Well, folds the dishes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> while, while watching the radio, bro. Oh, man. I mean, there's just looking at the stage list. First off, Pirate Ship looks amazing. It looks like out of Wind Waker HD now. Pirate Ship looks so good. Um, Han and Bo, Han and Bo coming back. Freaked me out because I love that stage in Brawl. I know it's goofy and completely banned to tournaments, but man, I want to see Battlefield Han and Bo at Evo 2019. I love Han and Bo. I love Electroplankton. People don't give that series enough love. Um, it's, it was cool to see that. I mean, seeing all of the <laughs> great Han and Bo's the worst stage, stage of back. all time. Which one's Han and Bo? It's not okay, the worst. Definitely is the Electro. That's it the is not the stage. worst. Oh, I didn't look that up. <laughs> <laughs> when you go, when you go stages like seventy-five meters, nah, Han and Bo oh, is yes, not the worst. Oh, Hannibal's bro, Han and Bo's some dick, man. I hate this damn stage. <laughs> <laughs> man, what? No, hell no. <laughs> no, man. I just like 
Look at it, all the cool 3DS stages that came back. Uh, Golden Plains, Paper Mario, the Dreamland, like the Kirby's Dreamland one. Uh, Reset Mute City, Bomb Forest. Reset Bomb Forest, Mute City, SNES. Like, oh my god. I love it. Oh, oh we finally saw, uh, what was this, uh, Final Destination, like, I guess fully now. Yo, like, that oh shit looking beautiful. Beautiful. my boy. Yeah, beautiful. FD always looks nice. Yeah. Well, the Brawl one left some stuff to be desired. Brawl one's not great. It was all right. Neither is Melee's, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It was fine, I guess, for the time. It was fine. Really quick aside, something I noticed, but I didn't notice how in-depth. So, like, the Simon trailer, mm -hmm. when they show Richter, like, when he throws the holy water and then does his, like, Wild. taunt and it rains, it's actually, like, referencing the speed strat for killing uh, Dracula. You use holy water in Hydro Storm in Symphony of the Night. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm. Well, I, 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 we, they always sneak right. it in references. Didn't they sneak a reference in uh, Donkey yeah. Kong's reveal trailer? Or, uh, yes, Kong's I was just going to bring that up. Yeah, so Donkey got Kong the is... No, Donkey Kong is laying on the ground looking at a TV. Anybody and he's the in pick? the exact position that Karate Joe is before his minigame in Rhythm Heaven. And the TV it. is exactly the same as the minigame from Rhythm Heaven as well. So people are saying that might be teasing a Rhythm Heaven character, which I think would not be out of the realm of possibility. Could be a reference, considering yeah. the fact... Well, we know that he was working on Chorus Kids during the Wii U era oh, and that the right. character was eventually cut. So, I mean, he could just basically go, okay, you know what? We did all this work on that, but we never got the character out in Wii U. Let's just, you know, brush it up a little bit and then throw him into Ultimate. I don't yeah. think that would be completely out of the question. And I do think that would be cool. That would be a great new franchise. I think that would maybe be one of the new stages to represent uh, a newer franchise that's missing from those final six. Um, I don't know. I'd be, I'd be cool with that. I love Rhythm Heaven. All right, something else I just saw on Twitter. So, I don't know if she's because she's just getting hit. She's too far away. But look at this clip. Rosa gets hit, and like Nana Luma yes, starts panicking. Yes, yeah. So it yeah, looks I like saw this. It looks like you can't when you're getting comboed. You can't do the shit where Na you can't. Luma can't interrupt your combos anymore. Is what it, is what it looks like because Luma does Wait, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How is this a reach and a stretch? Are you serious? Wait, this what? is pretty goddamn close. Y'all tripping. What? Chad said, Luma. Chad what is saying mean? that. The, what do you mean? Chad is saying that the the Donkey Kong uh, oh, was, Karate Joe guy like, picture is a reach. It's literally the exact. It's the same. same what the, yeah, it's what the is, same exact what is a reach thing. About what are you this? talking about? What exactly <laughs> about this is a reach? Y'all crazy. There's um, no way this is a reach. But yeah, like like what Derek was saying, it looks like when she's getting, when Rose is getting combo, Boom is just like flipping out on the platform, and there's like sweat around her, or Luma's Luma's her female, I guess. I don't know. And then like. It just looks like you aren't allowed to make any actions with Luma while being comboed or while you're in tumble, which I think is really important. Like for Luma, I hope obviously. it's grab as well. But on ice climbers, you grab Popo or Nana, the other one panics. I I, I would assume it's all encompassing. I, w I would just assume that. Thank God. Yeah, that's they're great. They're not yeah. trying to have any it's fuckery an anymore. Change. How many of us have died because we grabbed Rosalina or hit her? And then, uh, and yep. then and then Luma comes out of nowhere and fucking downers you and sends you off the side, man. <laughs> Alright, you wanna here's, here's a fun here's a fun story. Okay, so I was fighting against Rosa and I uh I shield break them and the Luma starts rapid jabbing uh behind Rosa. Now I'm playing Shulk, right? I do a fully charged forward smash, I clank through Rosa with the Luma and she survives. Amazing. That's crazy. That is weird. The, the only problem I hear with that story is that you're playing Shulk. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Oh, that is true. Shulk seems well, a lot better now, though, where you could just basically auto switch between his different modes. That's pretty neat. Me. Also, when, it, when we do see him, uh, when they show off Gamer, no, I think it's right before Gamer. He does up B, it looks faster. But, you know, that's just one of the things you gotta wait for. We'll the startup on all his moves is still exactly the same. We're still gonna have problems. The only thing, I'm looking at the stage list, and the only thing that stands out to me is like, why is that Pac-Land is returning, but not Pac-Maze? I know. Pac-Land is such a garbage stage. Because the other, I mean, the other stages that are on here that are missing, like Pyrosphere, fine, whatever, like, that's, nobody cares, that's fine, get rid of Pyrosphere. Or like the Orbital Gate Assault that took them like a year to make for Wii U that's not on here either, fine, get rid of it, nobody played on it. But Pac-Land over Pac-Maze, come on. And they're bring it's not like they're not bringing in weird 3DS kind of stages. Like Golden Plains is in here. Um, 
most of the 3DS stages are in here. So it just seems like a weird oversight to put land in here and not maze. I mean, maybe Sakurai thought that people liked it a bit more since it was on the Wii U, which... I mean, maybe because that... it's there. Like, do we have both... I know we have Green Hill Zone, but do we also have... Uh... Unfortunately, Windy Hill? Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, is Windy Hill on here? Yes, I see it's it. on the website, yeah. So if you yeah, look on the official website, they updated their stage list, and it has every stage that's in the game. Uh, I will link this in the chat. Oh, yeah, 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 Windy Hill Wait, is that, there. I, I took a screenshot of it. Yeah, Wait. so that screenshot does not include every stage. The oh, website. Crap. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. So go make sure to check the website. Yeah, it's uh, in the bottom right corner oh, on yeah, the far right. Yeah, because my thought was maybe third parties don't get two of them. There's two for Sonic. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's two for Sonic. And I guess while we're on the topic of stages and series, one of the things we could talk about is that now music from any series can go on any stage of that series. So if there yeah. is a great tournament stage for, let's say, Zelda or Castlevania or whatever, you'll be able to listen to all of that music on that stage, you which I think is Smash great. Bros. Smash Bros. absolutely flames remakes of Gerudo Valley, but actually play it in the tournament legal stage. Which would there you go, exactly. But, I mean, oh but also, it's like Sakurai is basically saying, hey, look, I made all of these stages and you only play on 10 of them, so everything is what Battlefield, everything is FD, please play on my stages. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, please, please listen to the music that we paid shit tons of money to use. I did think oh, it was boy. cool when I he can't. brought up that there's 34 Castlevania tracks, and the reason for that was because his music team just likes Castlevania. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. Let's see if we can do that for Midgar, because uh, Midgar no. literally had, like, yeah. negative one stages. No, it, I mean, it's, like... It still has two. It still has two. That's confirmed in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one winged angel. It's not hard to put Sephiroth's team in there. Yeah, I think one that comes down to Square, though, right? You, you... I, I, I don't know if that comes down to Square, or if that's just... You know, they decided to make a terrible mistake and not put in the most mm. popular Final Fantasy VII track of all time. <laughs> it really could be either. That seems like a pretty big oversight, though, when he's yeah, putting in these stages and all this other stuff. Yeah. Sakurai looks over every detail thoroughly. We could tell that after today's Direct. Hey, man, Sephiroth for playable character in DLC. Watch nobody ever play any other character ever again. Right. <laughs> and that comes with one music, <laughs> one piece of music with the Sephiroth yeah. having a new stage. It's just Sephiroth, and you get one winged angel and make Yeah, that's it. That's what you get for the. Uh, that's what you get for your DLC money, man. They'll sell them for twenty four ninety nine because you know that people would buy Sephiroth. Oh, everyone will buy him. Yeah, that's that's, will that's facts. Everyone will buy him. Man, I just I love everything about this, the stage list and the characters and the fighters. I guess we haven't even talked really about King K. Rool yet. That giant oh whirlwind of an announcement god. at the ending, like, oh my god! I, I did not see that coming. I was ready to end my stream, and be like, oh yeah, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And then King K. Rule just <laughs> no, Sakura is talking. Sakura is talking, and the screen starts shaking. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty great, bro. Well, I, I think it's love... funny too that he's very referential of the community, right? That you've got with the Ridley trailer. It says Ridley's what is like Ridley's too big or what was the, yeah. the phrase? It's it was the like a play on Ridley's too big. It's the big time. Ridley hits the big time, right? And then with King K. Rule, you got King DDD cosplaying as K. Rule and making yeah. fun of people. <laughs> I, I that love that it's DDD specifically because obviously Sakurai voices DDD. Right, and when right. when you hear fucking DDD laughing, it's just Sakurai laughing at people. <laughs> Bro, That's why crazy. They, why, they, why, why they have to do my boy like that? Like, why they have to do DDD like that? He's dead. He can take it. He's That's a, why. He's no. He he's dead it. now. He's why dead. do you have to do Donkey Kong like that? Nah. You can do when you're the king. You can do whatever you want. That's that's different. Okay. How do how can he do whatever he wants when he got smacked? Okay, but it's by another king, so you know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fine. fine. That's fine. So have we have we talked about the special moves of King K. Rule yet? Have people figured this out? Like what his four special moves are? The he's chopper like is his recovery, yeah, right? The he propeller has, thing. Yeah. He has the the, the, the crown like throw the is the side of He has a counter, and then he has the the musket. The, the, yeah, the musket, blunt, he got the chopper, musket. boy. So the musket's his standard B, and the crowd is is his side B, right? Yeah, most likely. The crowd's yeah. another boomerang. The, can we mention, by the way, that the Belmont's got a boomerang? That King K. Rule's got a boomerang? Like, lots of people got a boomerang now, man. I mean, if it helps, oh, uh, boomerangs are fire. What's wrong with that? Hey, uh, hey, you see how uh, when he presses side B, a projectile goes sideways from his body? Uh, I just want to, yeah. to throw that out there, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> 
Because the icons, uh, you know thing. what I'm saying? Wait, um, wait hold on. Uh, King K. Rule is the first heavy character we got with a, like, I saw a projectile, right? If I'm not mistaken? Unless I'm tripping. Uh, um, do you want heavy? Wait, what'd you say? Gordos. Gordos, yeah. Oh, wait, no, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, Fire something guns. else. <laughs> in King K. Rule's, like, his own trailer, like, we saw Didi inhale a Gordo. King K. Rule fires the musket at Didi. Didi inhales it and shoots it back. So that's, like, confirmation that Didi can inhale other things besides Gordo, like how Kirby can inhale stuff and shoot stars. Yeah. I do think it's funny that in one of the screenshots on the website, you have uh, King K. Rule after throwing his crown, and then the villager is, like, holding up the crown in the background. Like, he stole yeah, it from King it. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, something else they showed in his trailer. He can pocket it, and then King K. Rool doesn't get it right. back. Yeah. Right. I like the villager. He's that a, move he's a little trash. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I just think it's so funny that it's to the so point where every character needs boomerang a counter. <laughs> if villager po pockets Link's boomerang, does he get it back? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He does, so that's pretty unique that like he throws the crown. And no, it's a certain thing because like if he has a banana, if Diddy throws a banana and Villager pockets the banana, Diddy can't throw another one, and Villager can keep pulling out, pulling it out, and putting it back to refresh it so it doesn't go Pause away. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's you. It's usually the item-based projectiles, so that's interesting for his crown because that means he'd probably do more with his it's crown than it. yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I do like too. I do like too that King K. Rule has like crocodile noises. That he doesn't, he doesn't talk. Like, they make him like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and he just has, like, weird crocodile sounds, which I think is a kind of neat little sound effect. I really hope he has his own victory theme. Like, they, they did it with Ridley. I feel like Dark Samus is going to get either Ridley's or one life yeah. with a dark theme, and I hope, like, how they showed all the rivals before King K. Rool, they do that with everyone. I mean, Stop. they did it for, because uh, they did it for Bowser, and they did it for Meta Knight. Like yep. in uh, Smash Wii U, so yeah, I would assume that he would have him because he gave Ridley one in this game. Well, they, they didn't. Matt and I got it in Brawl. He was like the first one. And they well, added yeah. to Bowser. Yeah. Wolf didn't have it in Brawl. Hopefully, he'll have it in this one. And hopefully, like all the villains will have it. That was the other thing, too, is when that trailer first started, I don't know about you guys, but I was like, is this an adventure mode? Like, what am I looking at? It just, it looked to me like a new subspace, like the beginning of a new subspace or a new adventure mode or something like that. Um, and so I am really curious what that single player mode is, that giant green button that's on the very front of the screen. Do you guys have any ideas? Like, do you think it's an adventure mode? We know that it's spirits, right? That's what people were saying, that it says So we were, we were talking about that. That's apparently the name of it. But like, what does that mean? That could mean okay. a multitude my of different theory, things. My theory is an adventure mode, or at least a mode where you go and fight bosses, because we've seen that Rathalos is a boss, and he has a unique right. stick they haven't announced as a stage yet of Ancestral Step. And we've seen a weird-looking version of the Castlevania stage where you fight Dracula, right? And he did clarify in that little bit with Dracula that he didn't explain um, how Dracula appears on the stage yet. Then yeah. that's something that they're going to explain in the future, which seemed kind of off to me. Okay. So Something else with that? Remember when they did all the shadows? After Dracula, was that really big, blocky one that the question marks? Do yeah. we have any yeah. guesses on who that that's is? That's Kid Dracula. Yeah, that's Kid Dracula. From what game? From Kid Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. <laughs> that's. So if you look it up real quick, I'll, I'll Google image for you. Yeah. Guys. Uh, it was oh, a Game Boy yeah. game. It was a Game Boy game from like 1993, and uh, it was a Castlevania spinoff game. Here, I'll put the Google search right here. But uh, that's most definitely Kid Dracula if you look at the silhouette. Yeah, that's actually a really cool reference. I mean, I don't know if I trust you and your silhouette. Judgment, Roger, because you were saying the Zelda. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay let's, not, let's not bring that up. Let's not bring up the spring, man. Come on. I mean, I heard some people saying, like, um, even though, like, people are saying, like, it's called Spirits, it might be, like, something surrounding, like, you know, Smash Run slash Smash Tour, solely based off of the color coding of the icons on the menu. Because, um, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, the color coding for the um, icons are practically identical, with the exception of challenges, because I think that was switched with the vaults in the new game, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, cause in Wii U and 3DS, Smash 2 and Smash 1 were both green, and then that one segment that's blocked off is also green. So I, I don't I don't know. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, Viren, how you feeling about these menus, bro? Uh, better than the Smash 4 one. Oh my okay. god. Definitely. They, they better, I better be able to touch them this time. Yes, please. Oh, huh? Although at least, at least, uh, unless you're playing well, yeah, yeah. If you're playing it on your Switch, being able to touch them, nice. Alternatively, like a cursor with the right stick, 
so you can actually have like a movable hand to be able to actually go rather than a giddy clack. Look, all I'm saying is, right, I swear to God, all right, if this game supports voice chat and I got to get that ridiculous concoction from like Splatoon 2 to talk to people, I'm going to be angry, okay? Yeah, Discord is I, right there. That's what I mean, yeah. Didn't did Discord at any point mention the working on an app for the Switch? No. Huh? That's my own. They, they should be doing that, man. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. If there was just a Discord app that you could run in the background while you're playing games, and clearly you can do that, like with the music, you could basically have it playing in the background when the Switch screen is off, which I think is kind of cool. So I feel like the Discord team could come up with something. I mean, I mean, why would they pay Discord when they can just do it themselves, though? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and but right. it'll, it'll be trash. But I mean, I mean they, they wouldn't. Still... They wouldn't even need to pay Discord. Discord would do it for nothing. It's just yeah. they'd have to have permission. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of like menus and all that other stuff, can we talk about uh, the fact that crew battles are real now? Like, oh yeah, man, I mean that's incredible. That's, that's it looks like wild. so much fun. What the squad battles? Like, all right, was so squad strike allows you to a three v three or five v five, and you can either do like you can obviously replace anybody with CPUs for people who who missed this part, um, or you can do uh, if anyone's aware of the mode in Dragon Ball Fighters where everybody controls a character unlike on Fighters this isn't like bring in a team it's just like yeah my me my five people and then your five people now did they say whether or not it's like you get five stocks in one game is that is that how they that works say. we just saw at the top okay. stock and then a time limit but it I do think though stocks. it's it's worth pointing out JC tweeted out earlier today Squad Strike will change the competitive game. It's like MVC, DBZ, no tags. Okay. So then by that, I can assume it is like Fighters. Right. What you, right. Have, what you have, if people who in the chat who are not aware, Fighters is a 3v3 game. There is a mode, I forget what it's called, where up to six people can control an individual character on, an, on a given team. So if I have, like, Nappa, Yamcha, 16... I'll control Nappa, Shofu gets Yamcha, and Roger gets 16, and we're all on the same team. So I'm assuming yes. it is similar but to no that. Tags. Yeah, I, no, I but no tag. Is, How do you get to connect 10 controllers? A 5e, yeah, there's a 5v5, so I don't know what's going to work. No, but I'm saying, but it would the, the 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 premise would still apply. So each team would have five stocks, <laughs> theoretically, in the way that it's sounding, and it's like I control the first stock, Shofu gets the second stock, you get the third stock, etc. Yeah, but I think that's by like passing controller, not like you plug in each individual controller. Excuse me. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm... not locally. Locally, it might not work because you can't. Yeah, I would. I would yeah, assume I it's an know. online feature. Yeah. I would assume that's online. Wait, hold on. It, it, I mean, it could work locally when you think about it. Seeing that with the Joy Con, I mean, you three, can't connect like up to. Three could. Oh wait, no, it's only up to eight. Now. But how many Joy Cons yeah. can right. you connect? I think it's but, eight, isn't it? Yeah, it's only eight. The 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 sheer so, the sheer fact that five v five is an option, I'm just going to safely assume that it's an also an online feature. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm also. I mean, hopefully they'll fix that. But Special Smash was online in Smash Four, so hopefully they don't do that again. But. We don't know yet. Uh, or maybe you just have to use GameCube adapters and you just have to plug three of them in. This is this is really random, by the way. Uh, I just While you guys were talking about that, I was looking up something. I think that weird spirit thing where people came up with the name of that mode, I think they were wrong. I think the mode is subspace. And the reason I'm saying this is I was looking at the logo for the subspace emissary, and it's this sideways leaning circle with something sticking out of it and if you look at the pixelated mess that's on the bottom left in green uh it looks like a circle with something sticking out of it and i do think that if you go pixel by pixel even if somehow they got spirits out of it that maybe that could mean subspace i'm not saying like for sure but i'm just, i'm looking at it and there is I a remark i spirits is Far too short of a word for the height to length ratio there. Right, that, that's what I'm the thinking. The bottom spirits looks like it would be that maybe that first section of it, and then there's obviously a gap, and then a second word. But I don't think subspace emissary. I think subs on the other side of that, the flip side is subspace em emissary is too long. Well, I don't know because it does look like maybe there are two lines underneath it. And the other thing too is I, I literally was just playing Subspace Emissary earlier today because I wanted to get a feel for the adventure mode. And uh, one of the things about Subspace is that 
Sakurai put that together so you could unlock all of the characters just one after another. And for people who don't want to just sit and play 500 matches, you could just play through this fun single player right, mode right. that'll take you a couple hours and unlock every character one by one. And Sakurai mentioned in the very first thing about this game back at E3, I guess that wasn't technically the very first thing, the teaser was, but the first real information about this game that there was this new way to progressively unlock characters. And I do think that maybe oh, a new oh, subspace would fit sub that bill. Maybe play subspace again. I mean, but could you imagine subspace with these cool CG cutscenes that we've been seeing for these trailers? That'd be incredible. Getting to see Cloud interact with Bayonetta, with K. Rule, with Ridley, with all these cool villains and all these different versions of the classic uh, characters we know and love. I love, I love me some Smash Bros, but uh, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of subspace. I mean, fair I, enough. I loved subspace. I, yeah. I did too. I did too. Thing, like, crossover <laughs> games like this, like that's why I just love like interactions between characters that you don't get. Yeah, to that see. was. I, I loved, I've got to say, I loved all the cutscenes. I loved the story of Subspace. I love watching other people play Subspace, but how can I put it? It felt like it got really grindy towards the end. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. the whole second half was like a great cave offensive type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that to me was, it was too much. Like the but that doesn't necessarily it, seem like something they can't tighten up, right? I mean, if you knock the great cave offensive portion out of it, Subspace is yeah. only like two or three hours. So like, if you go the through a really half, you're right, the first half of. Yeah. You are right, the first half of Star Space was hype. It's just when it got to that bit where you're just going and finding doors and going through them fighting somebody and then going through another door. That bit, to me, got to me. It got to me. And, and by that point in subspace, you're done with the cutscenes for the most part, aside from a few, and you don't unlock any other characters aside from Sonic. So really there is no reason to pad it out that much other than just like giving something you know, else to the player yeah. so it makes them feel wow. like they're on a longer adventure. If they cut all that out, and just give you a solid three-hour, two-hour adventure mode um, oh, yeah. that you can just I, play I, if, and speed If that was like a really good, fun, like story-based, even five-hour mode that was just five hours of story, I'd yeah. be down with that. Yeah, I'd be a hundred percent down with that. Just don't, don't give us just another great maze. I mean, like, what happens if they gave us like kind of like um, a melee adventure mode, like, but trying, I guess, like, kind of streamline it a bit? Oh uh, like, yeah, melee adventure mode. I think that was. That was flames. I was definitely a bigger fan of main adventure mode. Adventure mode. <laughs> I know you didn't mean to, but I just I found myself laughing at you going, "Yeah, man, yeah. adventure mode is flames." Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, dude, it's three a.m. Oh, no, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm just saying it was funny. <laughs> I was up at um, eight for the gym. I mean, so what else do you guys want to talk about? I feel like there's so much here to break down. Are there any of the topics you guys want to discuss in in particular? Um, there. I I geek about like UI changes. Like I don't know why. It's just like quality of life stuff. I think is really really cool. Um, the whole character select screen where you can layer Echo Fighters on top of their original. Yeah, I think is really cool. cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, yeah. I I really for especially since like you know Viram also the lab rat that I am the training mode, bro. Oh okay. God, hold on. Hold on. on. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. That training mode is. Definitely a step in the right direction, but I need more than that. Definitely. Way more than that. What do you need? I mean, the training mode in Smash 4 is pretty lackluster. You basically can't really do anything in it. Um, you know, it's I not really it's not it's not really useful for competitive competitive players because they can't force the uh, the dummy to DI to uh, you know, maybe I don't know. Drop shield. Like, th there's so many things yeah. that that they need yeah. to add for us to actually be able to practice for real in that training mode. Yeah, they need to be able to force the dummy. We need to, to be able to mimic it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They need to be able to actually have uh, stuff like staling and all the multipliers that are going to be in the game or the main versus mode, uh, so that you can actually have a training mode that emulates uh, actual match condition instead mm -hmm. of the mess of a training mode that we've always I, had i think uh, i think a player record is like really is really vital mm -hmm. like just uh the for those for people who don't play other fighting games so in a lot of other training games or fighting games training mode allows you to take control of the training dummy and do a sh and record actions like a combo yeah. or something like that and then stop it and then that dummy will continue to do that for you so if you want to practice block strings or, or if you want to practice like hit confirms or anything like that or people jumping so I think that's something that shouldn't in Smash, I think is really necessary just to be able to be like, all right, I need this guy to 
drop sh or to just a drop shield to try to power shield. That way I can just practice timing shields or timing like stealing moves or something. Um, Nintendo Dudax is asking, did anybody work out what stage Rathalos was on? It's it's called Ancestral Step. It hasn't been revealed as a stage. That's something okay, we covered. But... So, remember that picture we saw with the mushroom? And it was like a different background and we couldn't pinpoint where it was? Yeah, so it's an item. That picture. No, 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 the no, the not, one with Snake? The, yeah, the thing, yeah. What's in the background. I was trying to look through this chat and find it and I couldn't find it. Because I want to uh, see the background of that picture is Ancestral Step or not. So I'm pretty sure, I'm going to do this right now, live. Uh, if you go to the Smash Brothers website, and you go to the Fighters page, so you click Home, you go to Fighters, and you go to Snake's page. Uh, so Snake is number... Whoa, 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 31. Wait, Snake, 31, okay. Uh, if you go to Snake's page, number 31, it's the screenshot to the left of the Snake trailer. And that does seem like maybe that's Ancestral Step. No, the, the background's different. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see if it was the same. No, animals. that's the bottom corner of that's the bottom corner of Ancestral Step from Monster Hunter. That's the big rock at the bottom corner as you go into Zone 2. And I, I'm trusting I'm trusting Duncan's judgment on this because he's the Monster Hunter boy. So I feel like if he's saying that's what it is, then I think that's what it is. And that's Zone 1. It looks like the rock in the corner of Zone 1. I'm going to try and f so I can show you. Okay. Uh, the corner of Zone 2, sorry, going into Zone 1. Yeah, so then that is a stage, I'm assuming, that it's not just part of adventure mode. Yeah, because yeah. then there's an item, too, so then it would have to be a stage. But definitely. Man, I'm second. telling you, if we get a Monster Hunter as a playable character, I'm going to lose my mind. That is going to be amazing. I mean, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility, either. If we have three Konami characters, we can get three Capcom characters. That'd be fine. We need Shadow. I'm telling you, all Well, Shadow <laughs> Sega, so there you go. And actually, technically, isn't Bayonetta a Sega character, too? So... So if all the third parties get three, that'd be great to throw Gino in there for Square. Wait, three Konami characters? Yeah. Yeah. Two Snake. Castlevania and Snake, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have three of them. And here we were saying before this game came out that we didn't even know if Snake was going to be back. The only issue I have <laughs> is that the grass is green there, and in the game, the grass, grass is a little yellow, but... The rock is the same shape there in Ancestral hmm. Step. It's like so that one's still a mystery at this it's point. It's like that more carved pillar, but as you can see, well, the grass being green throws me off, but then the grass was very green when Rathalos was on it compared to the game itself. Hmm. Like, the grass was a lot greener. I mean, looking at oh, a picture on the wiki... That's a clip. Someone says that's a cliff from Gar Plains, though, so it could just be Gar Plains. No, we talked about this on the episode. It wasn't Gower Plains. The other thing we talked about this in an episode a long time ago. We thought it might have been, but it wasn't. I think it could be a mother stage, as we talked about before. Saturn Valley, right? I think yeah, I mean, that would be honestly, so weird to me if they just added a new is, Earthbound yeah. stage with no yeah. new rep, though. It is. It is grass and rocks, so it's very hard to tell. But I can see that being ancestral step because it does look like that corner. Okay. At the same time. You know, it's it's impossible to say from that screenshot. Yeah, yeah. All I'm saying, man, playable Monster Hunter would be great. I'd but be that's excited been about there it. for ages. I feel like they would have kept it a better secret and not had a screenshot with it in, with the stage in when they've only just announced Rathalos today. Yeah, but I yeah, you're right. That's the other thing with it. But it's also like it's a grassy plane that you can't really yeah. see anything on. Yeah. Right. Right. And also, that item was not yet revealed at E3. Because we were all going back and forth, like, is that an assist trophy? Is that a part of the stage? I remember Zep right, was bringing I'll that up, thinking it was the today. mushrooms from Saturn Valley. Um, <clears throat> and now we know it's an item. Like, that That's got revealed. True, that, that, yeah. that was only revealed today. So. Exactly. So that was an unrevealed item. Have we talked about items that I know it probably doesn't even matter, but we could talk about them a little bit. Uh, the Killing Edge from Fire Emblem. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's an item. Yeah, everybody. What, what happened, RGD2? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, the killing edge, when it's oh, each man you hit. <laughs> You're fine. Keep going. Keep going. You're okay. fine. The killing edge, when it makes. The, when, it, <laughs> when it goes red and it does more damage, it makes the fire emblem. Like the, the GBA fire emblem crit sound. Hmm. Yeah, you've got the staff from Kid Icarus. You got the banana gun from Donkey Kong. The Rage Blaster. 
Also, can we talk Those about how there's literally a sword called Killing Edge and Death Scythe, and before he changed Blaster to look less like a gun? <laughs> I mean, that's true. Well, then again, he Nintendo killed Luigi that. in today's trailer. He literally killed Nintendo's, Luigi. Nintendo's growing up, man. No, once they put Bayonetta right. in the game, it was it was over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got guns she's, everywhere. She's, she got I love... titties out, ass bro, out. She is literally <laughs> fucking, bro. Taking clothes off, like... I like, love how, uh, showed off the Death Scythe. Fucking Ness was wielding the Scythe. Character right. from the Dead franchise. Killing everyone else. I did think it, somebody tweeted that out with Ness holding the scythe, and it was like, "PK, I'ma kill you." Like, <laughs> I'm looking wanna... at some of the other stuff on here too. At the the Pokemon, um, some of the new Pokemon they got revealed. We got Mimikyu. Mimikyu's looking real Yawn. cute. Yawn. Yawn. What? I love Mimikyu. If it's not Alolan Zekitor, you ain't talking to me. Alolan <laughs> Zekitor. <laughs> Yo, please, that's man. the best one. He just stands there. You can't yeah. jump over him. Alolan Zekitor. Why would you at the edge? You ain't just never walk around him. him. Like what the fuck? <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. You can't, bro. Because nah, you, you can't run through characters anymore. Nah, no. The screenshots, nah, by gonna... the way. If you haven't gone on the website, I highly recommend people go to the Smash Brothers website with the Pokemon section. There are some really funny screenshots of all these characters. There's one with a uh, Alolan Executor on Gower Plains, and he's just the entire length of the stage. <laughs> it's really funny, bro. Imagine, imagine, uh, fucking, talk about, uh... imagine Little Mac trying to get around this thing. Oh, it's just <laughs> not possible. Yeah. <laughs> I also no. like that Sakurai was like, oh, you like Vulpix? Let's give you an Echo Fighter for Vulpix. Here's a Lolan Vulpix. I was going to say, what move do you think, uh, you know that move Simon Belmont has where he swings the whip around? What move do you think that is? He said I think he can move it is that really, which was, which was weird. Uh, his jab is the only thing that makes yeah, yeah, but it, but that shit stops projectiles. Yeah. So what's good with that? Well, the move it freely thing, I assume, I was like Sheik's whip boss. used to be. Look, yeah, man, as long as my man Simon is like a counter to Bayonetta, then it's I'm It's definitely not a B move. We've seen all his B moves already. Mean? You know? Counter to Bayonetta. Man, yeah, shout out to okay, I also thought it was funny as shit. I also thought it was funny that they said the exact same thing about uh, uh, Simon Belmont's normals that they did about Bayonetta. They were oh, like, yeah, his combos are so are slow to start. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> well, we, like, we we know we know his is that is like that because of the fact that he has so much range. So obviously his range, yeah, his range is his range is stupid long, so he doesn't really need to be throwing out right. fast moves like that. I might be reading too much into this, but um slow start up could also be a bit of a reference to the original Castlevania itself. Where when you tried to attack, there was a bit of a delay on the attack yeah. itself. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't put anything past Sakurai. The, yeah, he pays the, very close attention to detail. Yeah. To the point where characters are really stupid, but that's fine. But not sure. I'm looking at some of the other, uh, some of the other Pokemon that are listed on here too. We got Pukyu Mukyu. He's in there. What are that? What, what move is he using? I was I actually gonna say, either. like, we Probably got his signature. Ditto, bro. Yeah, Yo, Ditto. Ditto kind of clean. Ditto, Ditto was fire. cool. Ditto, Ditto was fire. Fire. I was a little disappointed that Ditto didn't like make it very clear it had the Ditto face on the on the clone. It needed to have the Ditto face to, for me. Because that would have actually been that, yeah. That whole <laughs> that whole, but only a little bit. Ditto was super clean. I was super excited for it. It was just yeah. like why. Why not give it the Ditto face? That would have been so cool to have a Donkey Kong sitting there with the Ditto face. Like, Bro, can you imagine that? Ridley with those fucking... The, with the Ditto face? <laughs> 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 It'd be awesome. Cheese Jesus. Little dot eyes. Little goofy Ridley. Nah, I need, I need, Ridley. Bay, I, I need Bayonetta with Ditto face, bro. <laughs> Still shook, man. Like, I do love it. Like Ditto. I know, he was like that lost Pokeball from Melee. Yeah. And uh, so it's really cool that they brought him back. Marshadow, they brought in Marshadow from I Choose You, which is kind of cool. Caesar coming back from Melee. They were like, you guys like Caesar? We're going to throw him back in there. Scizor, man. I say Caesar. Like scissors. Like scissors. <laughs> potato, potato, Scizor, Caesar. I call him Caesar, man. Call it wrong. I know. <laughs> what did I say on the episode on Monday? I said something completely wrong, and people were like, what Roger, was that? Can you grab me a, can you grab Oh, me a... you said uh, Slifko. Slifko, oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> Slifko <laughs> and Silfko, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
No, I, the attention to detail though that Sakurai has paid to everything is just insane. McDareth, I saw what you posted in the chat earlier with Richter, with like his victory animation. Yeah, that was a reference the Castlevania. Somebody else posted on Twitter too that uh, one of Richter's other taunts is a taunt from like the FMV of his game, where he pulls the chain out and sort of like holds it with both hands. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I know Which like is pretty cool. Uh, I guess his up taunt is Hydro Storm animation. Yeah. When he calls it down. Oh, right, right, right. Man, this game is going to be so good. That's just too much, man. I'm looking at this game's all these so big. I wouldn't need, if they charge if they charge $100 for this game, I wouldn't even be mad, honestly. No, I wouldn't. Blink. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would blink. easily pay out. Dude, if I'd you, if you get first. arcade edition <laughs> Street Fighter and you download all the characters like all the season passes, the game costs you $130. That's insane. So, yeah. I would totally pay $130 for this. I'm not even, bro. I'm what? just saying, like, for, from launch to have this much content in it yeah. is insane. Especially when games are pretty, they, like, they barely do anything nowadays. Yeah. They purposely... And you know there's going to be DLC. Yeah, I mean, course. you know there's going to be oh, yeah. DLC. So, on top of all of this that we're already getting, you know there's going to be more. It's insane, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, I'd pay Saturday. 130 bucks. I'd pay 130 That's probably around about where I think, like, that's the amount of content that's in it. Oh, yeah. But hey, if I get it for 60, I'm not going to complain. I get it for free. I mean, I'm definitely. Get it for, I was going to say, yeah, get it for free, man. Hashtag free <laughs> game, hashtag free product. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <free> exactly. Product. <laughs> Yo, but oh, can we talk about, though, if we do get it for free, uh, Nintendo, could you give us those nice and clean collector's editions, please? <laughs> With oh, the yeah. GameCube yeah. controller. Don't right just here. please. Uh, I don't, while I will please accept. Please go in, please. I, I, I will accept a code email to me. I will too. I would much I will rather. Too. I would much rather have that nice, clean delivery. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Are oh, those only available in Europe? Because I only saw that it was available in... Yeah, uh, they only announced the uh, European um, bundles right now. Okay. So it was on the Nintendo <laughs> UK <laughs> Twitter? Uh, yeah. Okay. Virum? <laughs> I mean, Virum, I don't need that shit anyway. I just want the game. I got an adapter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can true. use the I same one already... from the Wii U, right? It, it, it yeah, is the same yeah, yeah. one. It's the same oh, adapter. Okay, well then, yeah. cool. All right. It's not a new SKU at all. Yeah, then just give me that code a week early, please. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> give me what's important. I, I, want, I want the code a week early, and I want to be able to play online from the... You, you remember, like, some of the codes they've given us? And, like, uh, when they gave us Triforce Heroes with no online? Oh, that's like, right. Yeah. Well, Pokemon. Well, give us some... when, when you got Pokemon, you weren't allowed to go online. Yeah. With it. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. So, like, just give us a week early and let us go online because I want to be beating Roger's ass before the game. <laughs> comes out. Hey, man. So long as I can unlock Mr. Game and Watch before we fight, I think He's... I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to stick with one of the newer characters, which is fine. Which is fine. It's first week. It's okay. People making fun of our privilege in the chat, saying, "Oh wow, yeah, poor yeah. you, not being able to play a whole week early." Hey, but man, once thing, you live right? this life, you, you got different problems, yeah. right? Exactly. You exactly. You <laughs> I, I hate him <laughs> so much. I hate him so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and Duncan, we we got that exquisite Disney VIP treatment. Oh, Roger was there oh, too. Yeah. Shit. I, yeah, we, yeah, you we got, got, was there. Of course. And, and we Disney, skipped. Man. We skipped every line. People waiting for two hours. We skipped in lines. We ride in rides twice while little Timmy waiting in. Line for two hours. Damn it, that's what I can't go was, back to standing alone. You got your plaid with you. Yeah, you got your like, plaid with you. Like, oh, you want to go on Big Thunder Mountain? Let's go on it again. I'll Let's walk past that life. family that's been yeah, waiting for you. Yeah, I've moved up oh, in life. I can't go that's back. It. Bro, I can't go back. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy got Joel all A's so we can go to fucking Disneyland. Nah, you do him dirty like this. Joel was talking about Lil Timmy, but this is a thing that actually happened on Indiana Jones. The queue for Indiana Jones was three hours. We walked up the exit ramp, got on the ride, and went round. We're about to get off, the doors open, and there's a little kid right at the front who is super, super excited. <laughs> and they go, Yo. And the guy goes, do you want to go again to go the other route? And we're like, yeah, let's go. I look across and see the kid, and he gets ushered back, back behind the barrier that's opened because he's dashed forward a bit. And the look of absolute despair on that <laughs> kid's face keeps me warm in the darkest of nights. <laughs> 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 Oh, and I looked man. at him, and the thing is, you know that he's gonna be on the very next one, right? So he's only gonna wait an extra thirty seconds. It's not actually no, a big deal. Is that the point? 
But we looked at knowing that you got to face. skip again and look at his little looked face. Looked at each other, looked at each other and burst out <laughs> laughing, which makes it <laughs> so You much are bro. evil, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Like that's like going that's like going to GameStop the night of release for Smash Ultimate. You bring your Switch, you already have your review copy, and you just stand outside the line and play for 30 seconds. <laughs> the game and just look at everyone in the face. Bro, Roger, they had um and EGX in the UK, they had the demo stations for Triforce Heroes, where you could like try the one level on Triforce Heroes. Oh yeah. But we already had the game because we got that like a month early. And I was just sitting in the chill area next, like in the next area, just playing the full game with my volume turned up. Because I asked Nintendo, I DM them, I'm like, what, am I allowed to play it in public? They're like, yeah, yeah, go for it. And so I was just playing full volume and people like crowding around. They're like, wait, is that the full game? And I'm like, oh, don't worry about it, man. Go play the demo. It's this fine. way I hear flexing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go out of I, mean, I, I could I could sit out here, I could sit out here and lie and say that when I got the switch early, I did not immediately go to my nearest Starbucks and sit and play Breath of the Wild in tabletop mode. I you could sit here and I could lie. No, it was in your it was in your dock. You weren't meant to do that. You no, weren't no, meant to no, go. But I, hold on. No, 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 no. It was a private the there was no public playing of the switch in a non- well, in a public area, I should say. But I was in a little private area of my Starbucks, drinking my latte, sitting there looking out the window. Nobody could look in. The screen was covered. I was good. <laughs> yeah, I was golden. People, I'm, people I'm sticking to that embargo, you. man. I, I got those free yeah, product hashtags. Was, I don't want to lose them. You weren't allowed, you weren't allowed <laughs> to let anyone see the screen. Yeah, so yeah. I knew no one could see the screen. I was good. I was you good. Could sit yeah. there, like, you could take it out of your bag and stuff and show people that you had it, but you weren't allowed to show anybody That's right. turned on. That's right. Screen. So yeah, that's right. if you sat in the corner with it pointed outwards, of course. but that's cold, Roger. Oh, that's, that's why I did it. What are you? Of course, that's the point. This man says, right. this man Connor eats pants. Says yeah, this bro. man has a private area in Starbucks. Bro, come to the Starbucks in Glendale. A little area, nice and, and wait, clean. Wait, wait, Starbucks. Hey, Duncan, didn't they have? Didn't they uh, have their own Starbucks in that Disney building we visited, bro? Yeah, we. They oh, they had, had a Starbucks. They had a Starbucks in the in the fucking building. That's crazy. You were they at GC three, right? Starbucks. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Flex Time, the podcast. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, anyway, man. I wish I had like, Flex. The yeah. problems you have once you get games early is... The Shuffle reason... Show about, about the fuck around and make his own Flex Time. Right, right, right. When, when Smash comes out, you guys get to take a weekend off, right? And just play Smash and have fun. We have to stream it. We have to make content. Like, if you don't have that week to enjoy the game, you're just going to be upset that you're That's playing facts. only That's dead facts. same. Of course, of course. You need, like, Breath of the Wild. If I hadn't got Breath of the Wild early, there was no way I was doing a day one stream. There was no way. No, no, no. I finished that game in the week I had it early so, so that it. I could stream it and yeah. make content. Because I was not... Like, Shove and I sat in a call and played, like, nine and a half hours a day of Breath of the Wild. Just right. finding shit and telling each other with Chris as well. Like, that, that was how I wanted to play it. So, like, yeah. Well, yeah, because we all had, we had like the Discord hard, yeah. call going that was just open for like three days. Yeah, yeah, the, the that was pretty cool. cool it was pretty great. Yeah. But you were working on other stuff, Roger, so you barely got to play. That's true. Yeah, I was on. I got to You're the something. Zora area the first day, and then I was yeah. the, I think the first one of our group to do Gerudo next, right? Yeah, you were the yeah. you you went straight from Zora to Gerudo. I did Zora, Goron, then Gerudo, then. Right, you yeah. did it the right way. I did it the wrong no, way. I, well, there is no right way. <laughs> I there guess you're right. You're right. No, man, that this was game's it's good great. times, man. It yeah, is. this game's gonna be so it's all about smash. It is. It's so good. All I just, of a sudden, I, I, Shofu's gonna find his passport. He wasn't able to come out for my wedding. The day he finds out I've got Smash earlier, that man's gonna find his passport. I'm working on it right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Yeah. Bro, Roger's right there. I can go down the street. That's, that's, true. that's true. That's true. That's true. Lobboard says, no, 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 you don't understand. Roger's recording this and playing Smash Ultimate at Starbucks right now. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You got to be careful, man. You got to be careful. Some of those embargoes are crazy, man. You got to watch out. There's like really minor things that you just have to know not to do. That's like the one downside with some of these games early is you do have to be very, very careful. Because um, even like if you have wireless on, Right, and, and you go into some of the modes. Like, I know Pokemon was that way when we got Ultra Sun, Ultra yeah. Moon. If Wireless was on, it would, like, send that message Ultra. to your 3DS or whatever, and then yeah. you couldn't play the game online yeah. anymore. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's something that's easy. It's just, like, you know, don't turn on wireless, and then something as difficult right. is, like, don't breathe. So, right. you know, yeah. 
Or even I mean, like the first week of Pokemon, right? Weren't we only allowed to like play with other brand yeah. ambassadors? Friends? Pokemon, Pokemon was you could only play with other brand ambassadors and you right. had to ch turn game discovery yeah. off so that people right, couldn't right. see that you were playing Pokemon. Right. Yeah. If your if Nintendo checked your account and saw like it's currently playing Pokemon, then you'd get in trouble. So you had to play turn your game discovery off. Yeah. And there was a whole instructions in the embargo and all of that stuff. Like they're very but the embargoes at least Nintendo's embargoes like exactly how to do all the stuff they want you to do in the settings and oh, all yeah. of that. Like to to not fuck up like so long they're as you super the thorough embargo, yeah. yeah even i remember mario odysseys mario odysseys was like three pages long there were like specific little things Bro, you couldn't show on the wall of, of the areas UK, of mario odyssey. because of the uk leaks of other games for mario odyssey we had to go down to the nintendo offices in south england we had to go down and collect our hard copies in person and wow. literally sit through them explaining in person this is what you have to do. This is how you have to do it. This is the, the, the this is the, the, the. So we wow. got it a week and a half early, just like everyone else, but we had to go and collect hard copies in person, no codes, no downloads, because there was a UK press guy who was getting a bunch of codes from different sites and stuff and selling them. So Dang. then they were like, no, you come in person, you get a bag. They gave us all the Amiibo and stuff for our trouble, which was great, but like it, that Mario Odyssey, they were like, that was iron. Right, Dalaganesh was like, "You mess up, that's it. You're out. We'll never talk to you again." Speaking <laughs> no of speaking of codes and selling them, do you guys think we're gonna get a demo of this game still? It wasn't announced here, but I remember those dark days of Smash 3DS where you had people being like, "Oh, retweet my tweet, and I'll send you a code." <laughs> those were like the golden tickets during the 3DS era. So I'm curious if there is going to be a test punch or whatever later on down the line, um, or anything to that extent. I, I mean, don't think like, we'll ever have like... codes again. Yeah, I don't think it'd be wise to. Yeah. Damn, we're sparing people from the warm mountain, dude. Right. Do you remember where you were in September of 2014 when <laughs> codes were handed out for Bro, Smash on 3D? Codes? When I were in the middle of a Shofu and I were in the middle of a versus through X and Y on Twitch. We were like, <laughs> oh my god! god! <laughs> we're we're like, we're like on the second gym of this versus race and we were meant to be beating the whole day game in one sitting. It was like a big versus race thing, right? And then someone's like, oh yeah, the uh, demo, the 3DS Smash demo j just hit for Japan, but only for Japan. We immediately turned that shit. No, no, remember that dude that was, <laughs> remember that dude that was also doing it with us and he was pissed? Yeah. What was his name? Yeah, 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 he was. Oh my, guy. there was a third know. guy we had doing the, the playthrough with us. The race. And he was yeah. excited. He was doing a playthrough with Shofu and Duncan. And he had yeah. been preparing for it for the whole week. He he Aww. fucking left work yeah. early and everything. Wow. Demo great. came out. Oh, was Man, fucking hell, you guys, were, you guys saw Little Timmy at Disneyland. You walked past Little Timmy. Then you, said, <laughs> then you said, "Don't worry about it. We'll do a versus run with you and Pokemon." Little Timmy's all excited. He sits down. He's gonna play Pokemon with those guys who walked in front of him. And then you guys Bro, ditch him to go play that was the Smash was, demo. That was in a heartbeat, I ditched him. What? I didn't even know who that guy <laughs> was. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Step in, in the back again. There were viewers who were pretty shook as well, because it was like we'd been promoting this thing for a week on both of our streams. Like, we mentioned it on YouTube, that. And then someone, one person in my chat is like, uh, Smash demos out on Japanese 3DS. And I'm like, Shofu. Apparently, Smash Them was out in Japanese 3DS. Shovu didn't even question it. He wasn't like, what? Who said that? Nothing like that. He instantly menu button. Quicker than any man has ever clicked the menu button on the 3DS. <laughs> oh, was oh. In the oh, eShop. Refresh the eShop. Got the game. He's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, holy shit. We're both on the eShop. The third guy's like, well, guys, we're doing a versus. And we're like, I... I I mean, we were doing a versus, like, that, that is we correct. Were, we There's literally no versus. way now, my now priorities could have been over on X and Y while there was a Smash demo out. Impossible. <laughs> yeah. Impossible. Sorry. Couldn't do it. He's not sorry. I'm definitely not sorry. You're right. No. Why would you be? You know what? Of course. He you quit YouTube about a month and a half later. That's, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> you wow. ruined his life. Man. How is it our fault that they dropped the demo? How is it our fault that they dropped the demo? Y'all destroyed <laughs> that, man. Crazy. Uh, well, I guess if I can't stream with Shofu and Duncan, there's no point in Blood, living on man. my YouTube channel anymore. We had that's some good wild. times with that that's... demo. That's the first yeah. time I ever hit 2,000 viewers on on Twitch as well, was that demo. Nice. That first time. I, I went, I'd never even hit 2K, and I hit like 3.8K on that demo. I kept playing once Shofu went to bed. He hosted me. <laughs> Not even hosted me. He's just like, we were in the same call, and he was like, go check out Duncan now. Boom. Good times, uh, man. The Savagery yeah, that, podcast this week. That's crazy. And then at one time, uh, the codes came out, 
And Zeph uh, said he'd give a coat to somebody that uh, microwaved some Mountain Dew and drank it. Okay. No. Did somebody no. do it too? Yes. Somebody oh, did. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He threw up everywhere. <laughs> I, <remember that. laughs> I just remember was... getting, I got that, uh, that the 3DS mailed to me that had like the Japanese version of Smash on it from one of our viewers. And I just remember you guys making fun of me and like scaring me, knowing that I'm very concerned about health issues. And you guys were like, you know, don't open that. It's got anthrax on it. You're going to die. This guy's trying to kill you. Don't open this 3DS. And I'm sitting there like, oh, come on, man. Do I play Smash Brothers? Do I risk death? Do I risk getting anthrax, please? But it was all good. Bro, all we good. Amazon. Thanks, Nintendo. Dad. We, we, I bought styles because this was back in the days where I didn't keep my own YouTube ending, earnings. Like I was still working and I was like, YouTube's a hobby and I don't want it to be. So all my YouTube right. earnings went to like giving stuff away or whatever. And I was just like, I bought Styles a Katsu Kitty Japanese capture card the day of that demo. Uh, he was like, oh, I don't have the money for it. I'm going to have to wait for the UK demo. I bought him that capture card and had it shipped from Katsu Kitty priority. He got it two days later from Japan. <laughs> he was on that <laughs> game, man. <laughs> like everybody was, we were fighting people. We were killing people just to get, like getting somebody that, uh, that 3DS was too important. Like getting that, know, that I also used the PS. Also, we borrow that when uh, Cross came out in Japan, so I played that. Ah, right. So that 3DS did the rounds then. Yeah. Nah, I put it work. That's nice. Great. Styles blew up of Smash 2. I'm really looking forward to seeing what he Absolutely. does. Absolutely, his content's gonna be beers. great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find that. I look. Story. I look to find that. I video. can't find it either, man. I know it's somewhere, but I don't. It, it's not named that or anything. It, it's just I don't know. I thought it was like the story of Styles X Two. I just can't find it anywhere. I've seen it. I need to find. I I may have it on my Google Drive. Let me take a look. I may actually have it on my Google Drive. Um, or at the very least, it might be on the Japan Time Google Drive, like the podcast one. I think Mike has the password for that because I can't get into that. Nah, I don't Real think you. I was on my stream Maybe like a We should have done time. the Japan Time outro before going off on these tangents. No, no, no. <laughs> this is part of the fun of the show, man. We were talking about everything. It all correlates. We're talking about early releases. Oh. Smash Brothers. It all correlates. It's yeah, fine. Here, flex that, was on, that was on my stream. Right. <laughs> yeah. I found that Hydro Storm GIF as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. This looks cool. I don't know how many of you uh, guys actually... Uh... uh compete like like actually go to tournaments and locals and shit like i know, uh, I, know most, I know most of you but um so what i saw on twitter was that the immediate like just be like no meter for smash bro or smash balls ever blah 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 blah, blah. and like i just i just want to see it like you, oh, yeah. you only know that talk about how close-minded everybody is yeah that's, oh yeah, yeah. That's oh, like, yeah. Like, like there's no like, harm in at least that. trying things like that's what i'm saying switch. like so much, you don't stuck, too stuck to tradition and all. You that. don't even you don't even know how fast the meter builds up. You don't even know if it's a one time use. You can assume that it's not, but you know you don't know that. You know there are I so mean, many things that yeah. you don't know you're about that. You're mechanic. talking about the what, community. This is you're the Smash community, community, though. I'm yeah, just, you're talking about I know. I'm just literally trash talks the new game and it's like if it's not melee, like there's there is a community out there that have melee HD than this. Well, and they're wrong. I mean, community. I like they are just straight up wrong. They're wrong. Oh, this honestly, game looks amazing. It, it just, it's just very... The only thing that I'm just like, yeah, like, I see a lot of TOs being like, hey, look, at the beginning of the game, this is the best perfect time to experiment with stages and rule yeah. sets, which I, I think really is... Hope. Which is... In... If, if a rule set gets set, they're never changing it. Right. Like, I feel like, I, like, two stocks and the duck hunt thing are the one that bothered me the most, because, like, two stocks, okay, it happened, we live with it, it's whatever. Right. But it's, that really felt like... Oh, for glory's two stocks. So let's make it two stocks. The people who play for glory. I'm glad it's two stocks. Mm. Three stocks. I would not want to. Watch I just don't stocks. understand, bro. Like, it's not even like at the bare, at bare minimum, the game's not even out. We don't know what the hell's gonna change between. That's now what I'm and saying, now. right? Yeah. Like, I mean, just based on what we've seen, I want it to be four. I want it to be four stocks. I think them implementing that feature uh, where now like the tech do more damage. I think four, four, four is a bit I, like I I would I could only get behind four if the final smash thing actually. Came yeah, through. exactly. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, for sure. I like, yeah, yeah I like, I like that. three yeah. with, no, with, with no bar. Yeah, four, four with meter, meter would be four sick. I would love that. Four, yeah, four with meter on is. And the thing about that is a general theme with ultimate that I don't see a lot of people talking about is that Sakurai is trying to give us as many options as humanly possible to to play to yeah. customize our play as we see fit. So he's giving us like 
you know, potentially with just by the idea that there is possibly an option for me to be able to turn rage off, whether or not we're actually use it. He's he's basically saying, look, I'm giving you literally every option. You guys play how you want, but the option is there to play however you want. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I think, and I think that's the general like idea with this with this version of the game. It's like, guys, with everything is here. Like, <laughs> with me too, though, I think the important thing is that like I've watched it back a couple of times now, and. They definitely have nerfed some of the final smashes with Mita. Like, they are much weaker, and they seem, like, fair. Like, Mario's one seemed fair. Samus's one seemed fair. They weren't, like, instantly killing people. They weren't doing massive, massive amounts of damage. Maybe just the Moth one, they haven't gotten around to making the nerf version yet. Maybe that's why it's still killed. Yeah. Because yeah, maybe. Like, if, why? If, if they nerf all of them to that stage where they're not, like, ridiculously powerful, I think that's fine, right? Like, Mita should be fine then. Yeah, I, mean, I think it would be cool. I, I back in the early fun. days of Brawl, I liked having Final Smashes on. I thought it was kind of fun, um, and I understand that was not a popular opinion. But I think we might as well just try everything. But, and, and, but, and you're totally right about the community being stuck in their ways. Because like I was at Evo this past weekend, and I was walking around with Reagan, and uh, I saw Sesh and one of her friends, and uh, the friend, this guy. Literally, I was like, oh, did you play Smash Ultimate yet? And he's like, it's not Melee. I want Melee HD. Man, F Ultimate. F it. I don't want this Smash 4 game. F it. I want Melee HD. And like me and Reagan and Sesh were all like, dude, what are you talking about? And he was dead serious. He straight up was like, I'm not even going to give this game a chance. Yeah, well, that, that guy needs help. Ludicrous. It's like, then, yeah, go play Melee then. That's fine. He but I'm ready for the new thing. The thing is, I, if Melee HD ever happens, if it has like a frame different, they're not going to play it. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's crazy. There's no point. Like, I just, I, I want people to be open to the idea that, you know, the experimentation and early I, and all that stuff. And I, I think that, I think, to be honest, I think Sakurai wants that too. Like, I, I think that Sakurai, with the whole meter thing, like, you also have to con remember that he's consolidated all the Final Smash to not be long minigame. They're all, for the most part, some of them are, but for the most part, they're all, like, one-hit cinematics. Right, So, like, right. it, lo it looks like to the to the to the to the average eye that he wants them to be used in an in like often like in a game setting so i mean to the equivalent of yeah supers that at, at a giant yeah. competitive major which i think is great and i think could bring more mainstream people into the game because it's eye catching it's it's sort of the same thing that he's doing with the slow mo animations with um like captain falcon when you land a falcon punch or when you end up landing a killing blow um everything sort of slows down for just for a brief second and it looks really cool so my know. my big concern this whole experimental period of early Smash is that this is also a period of Smash where we really want to get people into the game. Absolutely. And focusing, uh, experimenting with stuff, I think people underestimate how long oh, no. to experiment with things. So we may end up spending longer than expected trying to experiment with things, particularly with how much there is to potentially experiment with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So, like, as a result, we as a community would never end up settling on anything because we're so, like, I mean, even if you look at Smash 4, we never decided, we never really settled on a Lilac ban. People wanted it banned, lots of people wanted it banned, and then it never was, and it's like, God, there's, it's, it's a really awkward kind of thing, because you have both sides where a lot of people, they, uh, they just want stuff banned off, uh, right from jump which i don't think is right but then there's also the risk of uh just everything too long and it's it's finding that kind of balance where we can uh use what we've learned ready from the stuff in the previous games uh be logical be smart get a variety of different opinions from different representatives in the community not just random not just tos that don't play the game you know you've got event organizers, top players, commentators, all sorts of people, and then actually figuring out, right, what have we done in the past that justifies not doing this again? And uh, what what is here that can actually experiment with logically? So, McDareth, uh, that's I, I agree i think that like experimenting needs to be done but i think actually what you said earlier was um also relevant of like there's just a bunch of tos who will make the decision and then that yeah. will be locked in um mcdareth did just 
show a tweet from Justin Wong. Oh, don't um, talk about this. Let's not talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> Any, literally, I anybody mean, can, anybody uh, can edit yeah. the IMDb. Yeah. I know. That means absolutely nothing. Sean Chamel does do the voice of Lucario. He's done it since Brawl. No, no. But no, no, Brawl's Brawl Brawl. Bill Rogers. Oh, is it? He, he yeah. did in Smash 4, yeah. Uh, okay, so he did it in Smash 4 then. All right. N this means nothing, though. Don't yeah. look into this. It's, it's just, it's a meme. Yeah, yeah. it'd be awesome. But don't look into it. A couple things I want to bring up real quick, just because I'm like browsing the website while also talking to you guys. One, looking at Dark Samus' character model, this is straight up one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Like the way the Phazon just like seeps out of the suit. This is arguably one of the most detailed character models in all of Smash Brothers history. I am digging this so much. I'm just happy that they really did Dark Samus justice as opposed to just being like, ah, oh, let's throw this dark skin over Samus. It looks really cool. And two... Does anybody want to explain why Krom is a furry in his photos? Because oh. uh, what? Krom, if you look at the Krom page, go ahead and look at the Krom page. Krom I'll page. let you guys get there. Go to the Krom page. Uh, two screenshots the from the left of the Krom page. There yeah, is Wolf, Lucario, and Fox okay. sleeping on the floor of the Nintendo stage by the fire. And then Krom leaning down with them uh, with furry ears and a tail. Hey, he watched Evo, Just man. He's trying to it? power up. I don't see the fire. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Wait, where's, trying where's to get that Fox What movement? number is Chrome? Uh, 25E. Oh, 25E, because he's an Echo, so he Echo, goes... yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was looking at the bottom. You're saying he's trying to get the Sonic Fox boost? Is that the... Yes. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's not he's a bad to, idea. He's trying the guy to was amazing at DBZ. <laughs> I, I can't I... believe he was winning wearing a... Well, dude, apparently he was playing his pools with the head on. He, play, he, yeah, always, yeah. he always plays pools with the whole thing on. That's yeah. incredible. He That's tried incredible. doing that before versus other people, and then he starts taking it off because he wants to focus better. Yeah. Man, good on him. Those matches were crazy. Being there live was awesome. Uh, I think we've pretty much gone over everything, and we've gone on a couple tangents, so we'll wrap this up. We'll keep this nice and concise. So Shofu nice can edit concise. it and upload it, put it on his. Bars. Yeah, I think it was concise enough. Mars, nice and concise. Mars, boy. Nice and concise. Mars bars. What? All right, I'm out of here. Okay, cool. <laughs> so guys, uh, for those of you who are guests of the show, where can people find you? Duncan, go ahead. Um, all right, you can find me at Duncan Deep everywhere. Twitter. Twitch and uh, YouTube. I don't do anything else. I should probably do other stuff, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys can find me on YouTube since my channel's staying up. <laughs> uh, right. You can find me on YouTube at Indikuba YT, Twitter at in uh, Oh, I'm tripping. I I'm so tired. <laughs> YouTube at Indikuba One, Twitter at Indikuba YT, and Twitch at Indikuba. Uh. You can find me at Tito KMF on Twitter and on Twitch. If you like Soul Calibur, that's going to be my entire feed when that game comes out. So. And you can find links to uh, McDareth, mine, Shofu, and Virum's pages on the official Team Japan Time website. Go check that out. Go subscribe and like to all of us. Uh, this was an amazing day. I got to get some sleep. I know you guys do too yeah, over in the UK. Uh, thank you to everybody who tuned in. This is a really fun episode. Got to go over everything. We will be back not next Monday. So we're taking a break next Monday, and we'll be back, I guess, in a week and a half. So that will be uh, what day? Next Monday is the 13th. We'll be back on August 20th with the next episode of Japan Time. And until then, we will talk to you guys later. Good night, everybody.